In this video, I'll show you how to use the speech to text feature in Camtasia to automatically transcribe your audio in your videos to captions. Welcome to this video. My name is David. I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So this is Camtasia and let's assume you want to make your content accessible. An easy way to do that is adding closed captions or even open captions to your video. Closed captions, when you add them as a subtitle, that is like a sidecar uh, or basically just uploading an SRT subtitle file onto YouTube. Also, you can have them as open captions when you bind them together with a video. So where do we find the speech to text feature in Camtasia? From the menu items on the left, you'll need to click on the more tab to see additional content and you'll see the option for captions. If I click on it, uh, you'll notice that there's nothing inside here. There's just a gear icon and then a captions interface here where you can import or drag and drop a caption file that is like an SRT subtitle file, or you can also add a caption from scratch. To access the speech to text feature, you'll need to come to the gear icon, click on it, and you'll see four different menu options, sync captions, import captions, export captions, and speech to text. We'll click on speech to text, and what we'll see is that you'll get a tip here and there are three tips here to train your computer to understand your voice. And the reason for this is because Camtasia speech to text feature utilizes Microsoft speech engine that is uh, in Windows uh, 7, 8 and 10. I'm not sure if it's in Windows 11, but I'll assume it's the Microsoft uh, speech to text engine. So you'll need to train it to understand your voice. For example, I don't speak American English or British English, it's just English uh, as a third language uh, being uh, born and raised in Kenya. But I, I feel that it's good enough. I'm not so sure if the Microsoft speech to text engine that is used by Camtasia will work very well. Next up, set up your microphone so that you can have good input levels when you speak into the mic so that you can see if it's going to understand what you're saying. Next up, you can add words to the speech recognition dictionary. And you may need to do this, especially if you're doing medical content, legal content, or content that you feel that you need to have uh, a dictionary of sorts for words that are difficult for this Microsoft speech to text engine to understand. Now, once you're done with this, you can click on continue. Let's just do that. It's preparing audio for transcription. And once it's done, it's going to start transcribing our audio to text. Once our audio is transcribed into text, it's going to be allocated a new track as caption files. And the captions will populate on this particular section and the new track will be created. So let's just give it a try and see if it really captures what I say in this particular tutorial. So in just like a minute, and really this depends on how long your video is, how powerful your computer is. And now you can see the subtitles. So. Uh, here they are, uh, there is a blank caption first and then we start from this particular section and I can clearly see uh, the text is wrong. If I click on this, uh, you'll notice that we have a, a, a huge amount of text inside here. Really depends on the look and feel that you're going for. If I just click outside, it's going to just come inside here and just be a huge uh, three liner text. Personally, I recommend you work with two or one line subtitle lines so that you can avoid uh, giving people uh, poor visibility and readability of your captions. Two lines with just text that is enough uh, would do, but we can just click here. And if you want to make the edits to this, you'll just click inside where you want and then press on enter. And it's not going to skip to the other captions. It's just going to remain in that caption block if you press on enter, and if I do that, in previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, the subtitle background did not conform to the text on screen. That is, it was not adaptable or it didn't. So in previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, the subtitle background, it's really, uh, it did not cut that, but you can see that it's almost conforming to what I was trying to say. But if my English was probably American English or British English, then I'm, I'm sure it would have caught are this way better. Now, alternatively to this, they have a, a program or an application they introduced called uh, Audiate, and this uh, is more or less like a speech-to-text transcription application 
that is available on the web and I think as an installation. Uh, so you can try and install that because this works from the cloud. It's no, it doesn't use the Microsoft speech to text engine. I believe it uses AI and AI or artificial intelligence is better adaptable than a Microsoft speech to text engine. Alternatively, for my use case scenario, I use Descript or Otter.ai, create my subtitles inside there or just create the transcript and then work from a transcript. So uh, we can just try and listen again. Press on enter. In previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, the subtitle the edits, background did not conform to the text on screen. That is, it was not adaptable or it didn't. In previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, I believe it's the subtitle background did not conform. In previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, the subtitle background did not conform to the text on screen. That is, it was not adaptable or it didn't. Text on screen, that is, it was not adapt. Uh, let's play again. In previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, the subtitle background did not conform to the text on screen. That is, it was not adaptable or it didn't. Or it didn't. Now, if you look at this particular subtitle, to me, the readability is off. Is you're going to make your audience strain to read this uh, type of text. And I've made uh, recommendations to the team at uh, Camtasia to improve the subtitling. Probably give us these particular options on this right hand side. Give us a character limit, for example, to work with characters where you can specify you want 30 characters uh, to whatever number you want. But a sweet spot is usually 30 characters per line, and that is uh, the text and the spaces and the uh, uh, punctuation and all that. Uh, next up, to give us how many lines one can have this. Uh, and then, uh, for example, these uh, subtitles seem to be a little bit low, to be a little bit higher slightly, uh, and also uh, to have the functionality to set where we want this to be. For example, if I click on this particular subtitle and check out the options down here, you'll notice that you cannot position the subtitles at the top. If you have lower third graphics here, for example, lower thirds showing your name or something that is passing down here, you cannot move the subtitle to whatever section that you want. But utilizing this particular properties panel uh, or this section that is used by the properties panel can actually change the game when it comes to captioning videos in Camtasia. And especially when you want to caption open captions and that is banning the subtitles or captions to the video. So. Uh, what we can do here, uh, we'll just try and cut this out slightly, just so I can show you what I mean by a better readability. In previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, the subtitle background did not conform to the text on screen. That is, it was not adaptable or it didn't. Uh, probably I'll just go do away with this. Let's just cut this and then bring this back. So we're going to have just a one liner here Then zoom in. And uh, one thing I'd recommend is try and work uh, with the audio because subtitles work best with audio. In previous versions of DaVinci Resolve. Now, once we get there, here, you can just click on this particular subtitle, press on S to split. And once you split, you'll get a copy of what you just split. We can just paste in what we copied. And then we can just listen again and see. The subtitle background did not conform to the text on screen. So do not conform to the text on screen. You can just bring this here, press on, uh, click on uh, the subtitle, then press on S to split. And then we can just make our edit. And I believe it's just this, control X. The subtitle background did not conform to the text on screen. So we can actually just bring this down slightly, shift enter. And once we do that, we can just go back, backspace, and when we look at this, uh, we can also uh, change this probably. It's not going to be uh, ADA compliant. We can just change this to something like this. So when you look at this, it looks a little bit better. So you don't have to keep moving. Your eyes will just be glued at the center. And then we can move on to the next section uh, where we you'll just keep making the same, same edits. Control V. And then we can just say, 
that is it was not adaptable or it did not auto resize and it not auto resize so you can just do this split this particular section click here and then from this section just right click and then merge with previous clip and then we can work on this and and listen through again that is it was not adaptable or it did not auto resize that it was not adaptable or It didn't auto resize. So bring this down, backspace, change this, pull back again. So when you look at that, let's go back to the start. Uh, let's play. In previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, the subtitle background did not conform to the text on screen. That is, it was not adaptable or it did not auto resize. Looks a little bit better than what we had initially. So, that is a speech to text feature inside Camtasia. It's not the best. Therefore, I'd recommend you check out uh, the links below for their application called Audiate. Uh, but I'll still go with Descript or Otter.ai. So, you can check all this out so that you can see if you want to create subtitles and closed captions fast for your videos then you can use the services I recommend below. I hope this video is of value to somebody who's interested and more so somebody with an American or British English to test it out and see how best it works uh, for you. That is the speech to text feature in Camtasia. Thanks for watching this video. My name is David. I hope that this video has been informative. Thanks for watching.